Hi guys, I'm Ali Muhammad Zaidi. I'm gonna take your full core Java classes from today onwards, which is of course free. And one request from my side is that if you are watching my videos, please sit with one pen and a paper with your notebook so that you can note down the points which are not present on the screen but which I am gonna tell sometimes in between I will tell the most important points which will be helpful for your interviews so the first question before starting the code Java we have to understand what is Java so the question is what is Java we have heard a lot what is Java the proper definition which we have to give is this is a high level object oriented programming language okay this is a high level object oriented programming language and it is platform independent language now uh, we know this definition okay but we have to understand these words what is high level what is object oriented and what is a programming language and what is platform independent so let's go to the next slide and we will discuss more about these terms so first of all we will discuss about what is a program each and every uh, person knows this set of instructions given to a hardware or to a platform now again this platform what is platform sorry what is platform it is a combination of hardware plus software what is hardware hardware is nothing but your processor and software is nothing but your operating system these both combines and makes a platform so we have example for windows linux mac android and uh, from apple we have carplay which is used in automobiles so there are different platforms available in the market not only these four but we have different platforms also for robots also we have some platforms now we have seen in the definition that it was saying it is a high level language so what is a high level language the language which can be understood by programmers and as well as machines is called high level language there are other two languages also one is intermediate another one is low level intermediate is nothing but your byte code you, we will discuss later about that what is byte code it will be generated after the compilation of your program the byte code is the uh, output of the compiler which uh, the extension of the byte code will be dot class okay so that byte code it is intermediate language it means that pro partially it is understood by programmers and totally by machines low level languages are not at all understood by programmers those language are binary language okay only machine can understand that 1001 like that okay so we have understood high level now we are moving to object oriented language what is object orientation pursuing everything in the form of object is called object orientation why the java is pursuing everything in the form of object this is the question which arises here because whatever you see in this word is a object is an object whatever you take it's an object so to solve the real world physical problems real world problems we have to interact with the objects that's why the java takes everything in the form of object and that process is called object orientation now we have another term which is platform independent what does this means a programmer developed in one platform for example we have developed a java program on windows and we want to run in on another platform like linux okay you will not write it again that is so frustration that is so like not uh, efficient work no one will uh, like like this no one will agree on that like oh my gosh I don't want to 
type on uh, like again the same program on another platform so java has made it easy it's a platform independent you can write a program in on windows and you can run on linux but there should be two things one is jre and jvm which you can install from the website of the java okay so later we will talk about jre jvm jdk all those things but now you have to understand this one platform independent means a program developed in one platform can be able to run in any other platform it may be any platform but the required things are jre and jvm jre full form is java runtime environment jvm is nothing but java virtual machine so we will go to the next slide here now we will discuss about object what is object object is nothing but a real world physical entity whatever you see in your surrounding is an object you take your laptop you take your mobile you take your charger you take your socket even you also the object because object occupies a space and has some mass so anything which is physically present is considered as an object so of what does object contains it has states and behaviors so i'll explain you states and behaviors in easy way like you have your mobile so what will be the states of it so that the fourth point which you can read state of an object is the data or information which is used to describe an object so what is the thing so what is the data which is describing the mobile color type brand price ram or oh sorry specifications we can say okay so all those things are describing it like which color is that what is the price which brand is that so all those data which is describing the object are called states of that object now what will be the behaviors behavior of an object is nothing but an action performed by that object okay like we have taken an example of mobile so what you can do with the mobile you can call someone you can send a message to someone you can play videos you can play the games you can set the alarm all those things are the tasks so those tasks are nothing but behaviors of the object states is nothing but the data which describes it behavior is nothing but the task performed by the object so have you understood the object clearly okay so we will move to the next slide we have class and object so without class we cannot create an object this is the basic thing which we have to keep in our mind in java so what is class then for example you have a blueprint not you uh, any civil engineer okay any civil engineer have a blueprint have a blueprint which contains the design of a house okay where should be the bathroom where should be the all this is a consider it bro i'm not saying you to just accept this and start discussing about this is not correct a blueprint so i'm just saying you to accept it this is a blueprint assume it this is a blueprint which is there with the civil engineer if it gets uh, so like from this only by seeing this houses can be built okay and of course you can build multiple houses you can construct how many houses you want there is nothing uh, like construct uh, like constrain here to construct only one house we have we can construct how many houses we want okay the similar way class is nothing but it is a blueprint it is a blueprint so you have to keep this word in your mind it is a blueprint or a logical entity so i will explain you this logical entity also if this blueprint got burned or deleted or something else happened to it will this blueprint get erased from the mind of civil engineer no it will be always present there in the in his mind who got who gets who got that idea of that design so that is a logical entity which is not physically present but which is present logically 
so the similar way class is also a blueprint or logical entity using which we can create one one or multiple objects this is the class we can create any number of objects we want from that then the proper definition for object will be it is a real world physical entity which is an instance of class because we are creating from class first point which we have to keep in our mind is we cannot create an object without the class so first of all we have to create a class then only we can create an object and next point is multiple objects created by using a single class is called as identical or similar objects so if you will create if you will construct the houses from a same blueprint same design the houses will be very similar they will not be changed everything will be same because the design the blueprint was same it's so a similar way the objects created from class are called as identical or similar objects those all will be identical or similar objects now we have a, a third point every object lives independently what does this means like if i destroy this object this house i have destroyed this house will it will it affect this house no will it affect this blueprint no they both will be safe they both will be on their place they will not be get affected by this object so similar way every object lives independently if we destroy or modify one object then it does not affect another object or the class you have to keep these three points in your mind and we are moving to another slide we are talking about association now what is association we have uh, constructed we have created objects now we want to associate them now we want to connect them so that process is called association this is the definition you can take it in your notebook it is a process of associating one or multiple objects with another object one will be one can be associated with one one can be associated with multiple multiple can be associated with one or vice versa like that so it is a process of associating one or multiple objects with another object it is also considered as has a relationship why it is considered as a has a relation because i will like give you the example of mobile and sim sim is also an object mobile is also an object so what you will see you what you will say mobile has a sim mobile has a sim laptop has a battery okay so that's why it is called has a relationship so there are two forms of association okay one is composition another one is aggregation so we will talk about uh, more composition what is a composition it is a special form of association wherein associated object cannot logically independently exist on its own without the owner object like i have given you the example of mobile but that is not suitable for composition because if you would destroy the uh, mobile sim will be present sim will be there it can be put in another object so we cannot give that example here we have a example called water and fish okay like if you will remove the fish from the water will the fish be alive no fish will die so it's totally dependent it's totally dependent on the water so you can consider water as an owner object and fish as an associated object you have to keep in mind the owner object is one to whom the other object is associated and that object will called as associated object and here in composition the this is a strong has a relationship because if owner gets destroyed then the associated object is also getting destroyed it cannot logically independently exist here it is vice versa it 
can logically independently exist sorry independently exist without on our object okay so it is called as weak has a relation because the relation is weak here it's not totally dependent you can take an example of company and employee so due to some reasons you can take an example of pandemic situation due to this pandemic situation company got loss and it got shut down so now the employee was working there will it also destroy the employee no employee can search any other job too so it's not totally dependent so that's why it can logically independently exist on its own and what is this this is a solid diamond and this is a hollow diamond or a light diamond so solid diamond is used for composition and the diamond should be pointing to the owner object and here also the point this should be pointing to owner object but it is a light diamond so for today we have discussed this much now what we have learned today what is java and what are those things like high level object orientation and uh, programming language and platform independent and one more thing i have not told you is syntax i have not told you what is syntax like uh, for example you have each and every language has some grammar okay without grammar that language is that language will not be accepted by anyone like if i'll say i go will but i wanted to say i will go but i have said i go will no one will understand it because the grammar is different the grammar is not used here the words are used words of that language has been used the similar way here also we have a grammar of the programming language which is called syntax we have to go according to the syntax so for today we have this much only we will discuss more on the upcoming classes till that bye bye take care